Welcome to JMO Podcast episode 4 And we're just gonna cover some stuff that I haven't covered yet Maybe get into a little about the old stuff too But a big big problem Well it's been a problem for a while but it's mental health It's it's uh, trending I guess but it's been around for ever and uh, mental health is looked down upon like if you if you are so called crazy or whatever um, and then you you shouldn't seek treatment too much you just you should just get better like like that just get better in a day nah it takes over time it takes a long time to get past like depression or anxiety or whatever and um, I mean everybody has problems right everybody has issues Um, and I would say everybody needs uh, therapy some some type of therapy and but it's looked down upon if you go to a therapist then you're considered crazy but uh, if you go to a therapist, that doesn't mean you're crazy. It just means, um, I would say it just means you're working on yourself and having a better mindset, becoming a more peaceful, better person so that you won't be grouchy or mean to other people. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's like um, working on your physical health. Like every day once a week or so every so often we work out for our physical health but we have never some people have never ever worked on their mental health and that is i would say mental health is more important than physical health because if you look at the athletes the smarter player always wins you have to be uh, physically fit as well too but if you have all these muscles but no brain then you can't win anything you gotta have uh, pretty solid mental health so that goes on in life too you gotta have uh, good mental health and then uh, you don't have to be perfect just just acknowledge and understand it like social media is a big part of mental health because people People want to be noticed. They want attention. That's what plays into mental health. It's like, uh, am I not important enough? Am I, am I, what is, what am I living for, you know? And a lot of people go, go through that at multiple times in their lives. Like, I don't want to put people on blast, but I hope they're doing fine. But it's that one guy that, that did that two beers and two eggs thing. I hope he's doing well. I hope he's. I hope he does well in his life, and I uh, hope he gets better. But like, uh, he did that challenge, and then uh, the two beers, two eggs challenge, and then like not. I think a week or two weeks later, uh, he wanted. He took an Uber, and then he wanted to. He took a hold of the steering wheel and he wanted to crash. But then uh, I think he's locked up or whatever. If he's out, then hope he's doing fine. And um, yeah, enough about that. Uh, That one, what the hell is that? Christine Jongchik. She took her fame to another level. And I understand your haters are your strength, but she is kind of overdoing it a little bit but she knows that she's just entertaining her haters and uh sometimes you can overdo it and i hope she gets better and try a different try a different comedy or don't just singing bad is fine but if you if you ag- act aggressive towards other people because they don't like how you sing, then 
yeah, you sh shouldn't. It was fun. It was fun at first, but after a while, it, it gets drained out. It's like doing the same joke over and over and over. And uh, yeah, just if you can live without Wi-Fi for a week without without straining and reaching for your phone, then you should be fine. I mean, I'm guilty of it too. But um, yeah, drinking yeah drinking is a huge problem. Even for me, I have a slight problem drinking. Not too much. I can I, I can go without I can go without cheap beer. I hate cheap beer. And uh, yeah, some people just they don't think they're alcoholics, but they're alcoholics. Like growing up, I would hear about alcohol alcoholism. Like uh, when I was like twelve or in high school, um, I would hear about alcoholism, but uh, I would never think it would affect me or anybody near me. But it actually affects a lot of people. Yeah, because life gets to you, then you start drinking or smoking or whatever. I get it, but it's just, you, you just gotta control. You, you just gotta, it's hard to control it, but you just gotta control that. And don't, don't let the beer hold you, you hold the beer. And health, you guys got I'm not saying become a vegan, but eat a little bit more healthier. Say no sometimes to food that's bad. Um, and just, if you eat healthy once once a week, just eat healthy once a week, that's it. And then if you like it, eat healthy two times, two, two times a week. And eat healthy three times a week, and then it would become a habit. And it's good for your body too because you have more energy to do stuff but I'm not saying quit the good food you you should always eat good food if you feel like it but just be a little bit more healthier so that um, so that you won't suffer when you're older or something like that and uh, Mong TV Mong TV is like Fox News I I don't really watch Mong TV, but I mean everybody does it for the ratings, right? So they do the they cover the topics that will get the most ratings. Like they'll get the Lavar Ball of Hmong people to come on the show and talk smack about another Hmong person, which is which is influencing uh, violence per se. And they cover like like nobody cares about a poor kid that does good. They only they only c cover a rich successful kid that does good, and that's like unfair. You guys you gotta cover both ends. So because everything's a good story if everything's good, right? And uh, yeah, I tell my parents not to watch Hmong TVs because. Uh, it's affecting their mind back to mental health and yeah religion I don't think I, I, I do think I, I want to take a poll and see uh, if sh shamanism is actually dying which I know it probably is and then Christianity is is coming up big but like the Hmong language, I think it'll die out. It'll it'll still be around, but it'll die out pretty, pretty fast. And becoming a shaman, I don't know anything much about becoming a shaman, but I would like to uh, get the insight of a of a young or old and older shaman that became one. And see what the mentality is behind it, and how you you get to become it, so that you guys could uh, understand what it takes to become a shaman, and all the uh, all the tasks you have to do, and the mentality side of it. That'll be that'll be dope if I could get somebody to open up about that. And I'm, I I don't say I believe in God, but I think if you believe in God, you have to believe in the devil, right? And then, if you believe in that, that that's too dangerous for me. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, whatever. 
and ghosts um i don't say i believe in ghosts either but i don't want to find out yeah i'm not gonna go to a cemetery or haunted house to find out that shit like white people that's too dangerous and oh yeah, let's, let's skip drugs drugs are bad just a little bit just a little bit <laughs> Uh, cheating, like, I guess everybody cheats, right? I think now, this modern time, people are more prone to cheating because they don't want to get cheated on, true, right? They always want to have a spare tire in the back, even though you have one good wheel already. But that's just how it is, right? You don't have to, I mean, you don't have to always have a tire, you can just walk, you know, but, uh, yeah, and, oh yeah, the single life, yeah, I think more people are more single now, like, uh, even though they're married or had a long re relationship with somebody, then they're single now there's a, a lot more of those out there because of i guess cheating right it's not even like before it used to be money it still is a little bit about money but now it's about it's about loyalty yeah it's always about loyalty right and nowadays a lot of people are not loyal only when it's convenient they'll be loyal and the words, oh, the words, I love you, people just throw it out there like, like it's nothing, you know, you can't just throw it out there, it's like, oh shit, you said that shit, I mean, I was young and dumb once, right, I used to say it, when I was young and dumb, but, uh, yeah, now, I, I don't even say it at all, that much, no, I don't say it, say it at all. Um, it's like the n-word, you know, it's like, man, you can't say it in, in front of other people. You know? um, only if they're cool and, uh, and, and they'll say it back to me, then I'll say it. But, um, yeah, you can tell, you can tell if, uh, if they're genuinely too, because, um, yeah, if you can't tell, then, then you deserve to get it cheated on i'm kidding um and Hmong artists now they cover a lot and they do a lot of generic stuff you gotta keep it original you gotta study if you if you're going to a field you gotta study that shit and then you gotta keep it original you could do slight generic stuff but you can't you can't just copy a whole idea and then uh, you throw a concert and you only do covers. That's that's a copycat. That's not an artist. Just be original in everything you do. And uh, I don't know. I like that. I used to do the interviews and say, um, this is corny as hell. I used to do the interviews and say, uh, oh, give me your best knee eye. And then, uh, and then I saw that odd chick. I, I, I never watch her videos, but the odd chick, she copied that segment of mine. That's fine. I don't care. And then, uh, sh and then she, she does some other segments too. She said the N word ain't shit. I was like, you can't say the N word in public at all. Even though you have a, even though you have a black guy next to you, he cannot say the N word. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think she knows. She thinks she's funny, but she's she's like accidentally hilarious. And yeah, she's fun to watch. She's um I don't I don't really watch it but my sisters talk about it. But uh yeah, just be original and uh know your craft. And, uh, yeah, stop copying or doing covers or doing other stuff. 
Um, I think that's it. I'm going to keep it short. So, yeah, mental health. Just work on it. Don't feel bad about going to a therapist. Um, feel bad if you don't go to a therapist and you know you're mentally breaking down. Because uh, Hmong parents will look down upon it. Yeah, I know some somebody that that goes and then they told their parents and their, their parents freaked the fuck out. I was like, nah, you should support her. Like, you should support her. Support them. I didn't say him or her, okay? And uh, support them and ask what's wrong. And uh, yeah, just just everybody's working on themselves. Even from like, one year old to like 90 years 100 years old they're still working on themselves slightly somehow you know and yeah just just don't bully each other too much is the intention just the intention is just it's always there but yeah um that's it i'm just keep it short for the episode four and next time i'm gonna go out of country so i'll tell you what that's like in a few months peace